<laughs> All right, Denise. Yeah, uh, of course, after that hot day that we had today, things are looking a lot better temperature wise as we head into the holiday weekend. And we but the thing is, though, we still have some chances for storms around. We're actually going to see another round of storms potentially tomorrow afternoon. But let me show you this storm that has been fairly persistent here over the past uh, several uh, hours. It started way out in parts of western Maryland and now it's making its way over to the eastern shore. Lots of lightning strikes here through Kent County and you can see this is going to continue making its way south and eastward here towards the 301. So we're expecting some more heavy downpours out of this one as it continues making its way eastward. But this is kind of the path that it took here in some areas picking up about a half an inch of rainfall. The thing about this storm is that it was moving along at a pretty good clip so it did dump a lot of rain. Uh, in some areas, but it doesn't cause any uh, major uh, flooding issues or anything like that. So that's certainly some good news there. Looks like we'll have some lingering showers in the late week. More chances for showers and storms in the forecast for tomorrow. And then Saturday, I think, is when we'll see our next round of rain. But as far as the weekend's concerned overall, it actually doesn't look too bad. And then it's Monday that we're going to start to see that humidity drop, and it's going to feel pretty nice here for most of next week. Temps into the 70s and 80s right now. Feels like temperatures, again, still right around 90 degrees out towards Tillman Island, but that's really not going to be a big issue here for the next several days as those humidity levels and temperature levels are going to stay at a manageable level here over the next uh, several days into the weekend. So for your bus stop forecast for tomorrow, temperatures into the 70s, partly cloudy skies. And then we'll have a scattered shower storm here during the afternoon. East northeast winds about 5 to 10. Highs tomorrow running about 10 to 15 degrees cooler, running into the mid to upper 80s here for tomorrow. So there's that lone storm there. We're going to be tracking a threat for some severe weather here for tomorrow. Again, we're expecting for tomorrow afternoon. The threat is going to be mainly across parts of western Maryland, although we will see some of the storms try to get close to the Baltimore area here during the afternoon and evening. Futurecast kind of shows that tomorrow morning will be mainly dry, but then we're going to be watching those storms developing to our west. And I think most of them will be west and southwest of the region, but some of them will try to sneak into the region tomorrow evening. Chance for a shower or two on Friday, and then we head into the weekend. You can see rain chances highest on Saturday. Sunday, slight chance for a shower in the morning. Otherwise, it looks dry. And then 82 uh, coming up here on uh, the afternoon for uh, Labor Day. So Labor Day actually looking like a pretty nice day. Carroll County here for tonight. Temperatures dropping into low to mid 70s under a partly cloudy sky and then highs tomorrow uh, much cooler into the mid 80s across the region. So here's your first alert seven day forecast. Again, the coolest day of the week is going to be Friday. Highs in the 70s to around 80 with a chance for a shower or two. 86 again with scattered storms, particularly during the afternoon on Saturday, but slight chances on Sunday. Labor Day looking good. And then you remember the weather we had last week? Highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. We're going to get that again next week starting Tuesday. Denise. Oh boy. Thank you, Derek.